Welcome to the Florida PSM exam review. Question number seven. When I say the term professional surveyor and mapper, the reason why we're not called a land surveyor or a professional land surveyor in Florida is because Florida surveyors are required to do so much more than the traditional land survey. One of my favorite types of survey to do, something I've been doing a lot lately, is water boundary surveys. These are really, really fun jobs on lakes and rivers and oceans, and they're also extremely lucrative. You know, I think you could charge five times as much for a water boundary survey because only a small group of people have the knowledge and the skills to do these water boundary surveys. You know, it takes a lot of brain power. So as a professional surveyor and mapper in Florida, you're expected to know about water boundaries and to appreciate and understand all of the processes that happen along the coastline. One of those processes is called the recessional withdrawal of water. So according to the Florida Board of Professional Land Surveyors and Mappers, a recessional withdrawal of water that leaves land uncovered is defined as blank. So what is this? What's happening? Well, we have a water level along a lake. We'll call it 100 feet above mean sea level, 100.00 foot elevation. And that is where the water meets the land. That's the, the, the dry, sandy area as you see on your screen. Well, who knows what happens? Someone lets out a spigot and they use too much water. And this water is actually going to recede. It's going to go from the white, sandy area to the level it is right now. And you have this beach, this tide land, we'll call it, that really was once underwater, but is now dry. Now this could last for a day or it could last for a lifetime. Who cares? All you are asked to do is define, you know, what is this term? Well, there are four terms in water boundary processes. Accretion, reliction, erosion, and avulsion. And if you've gone through the fundamentals of surveying exam, you should know these four definitions cold. Well, let's take a look at our call the question. It says a recessional withdrawal of water. Want to use a little bit of common sense? Which one of these terms starts with R? Okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself as usual, so let's not jump to any conclusions. Let's go to the statute and let's read what the Florida laws tell us. Why waste valuable time memorizing equations and working out all of those long mathematical questions? Purchase a pre-programmed HP 35 from NLC that works the problems for you in seconds and frees up more time to work on the rest of your exam. Programs include COGO, triangles, horizontal and vertical curves, and many more. According to 177.28-2, reliction is defined as a recessional withdrawal of water leaving land uncovered. This is a, a textbook Florida PSM question because they are basically using the exact same words in the definition, but they want you to go find the word. And it may sound simple, but when you're under pressure, when you're under the gun and you're, you're flipping through pages in your Florida statutes as quickly as possible, it's easy to, to miss the one sentence out of 500 pages. So my suggestion here is, you know, first of all, read the question and see if you can come up with the answer. Now, I was about 95% sure the answer was B. Then I know that 177 deals with land surveying terms and definitions. So I, I went through and I paged through 177 and I found this definition. But if you don't have that time, it may behoove you to just go with B, your 95% accurate gut feeling, and keep on going. So what's the answer? 
the answer is going to be B, re-election. Want even more content for the Florida PSM exam? Join me for a complete online prep course that includes videos, handouts, workbooks, practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. This course has everything you need to pass the Florida PSM exam on the first try. Join us at nlcprep.com PSM for more information.